Recently, one of our viewers mentioned lidocaine and cancer treatment. And I have to admit, right off the bat, I was thinking, it doesn't sound right. That sounds a little bit off. Most of the time when you guys send me stuff, I go ahead and look it up anyway. Even if I have my doubts, I look it up. And what I found is, believe it or not, is lidocaine seems to have a really positive effect in cancer treatment. So let's talk about that. Let's discuss that a little bit. So <clears throat> most of us have heard of lidocaine, right? It's a local anesthetic. You've seen the dentist um, has given you that injection in there when he's going to do a fill a cavity, extract a tooth, other dental work. They're using lidocaine to kill the pain, right? Um you may have had lidocaine when someone was doing a biopsy. If you had a suspicion of cancer or a suspicious lump or something, lidocaine was used for the biopsy. Um, and even as soon as, or as recently for me, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, my ear, nose, and throat specialist actually shot lidocaine into the back of my nose so she could run the camera down my throat and take a good look inside. So lidocaine has been around since the 1940s and it's considered very safe for use. So in the past, uh, some doctors and researchers had noticed that there was a cancer killing response from the use of lidocaine in vitro, which is in the pit, pit like a petri dish, and in vivo, which is in living organisms such as like lab rats and things like that. There are reports of breast cancer or reduction in breast cancer metastasis and recurrence when lidocaine was injected immediately prior to breast cancer surgery. There were several small trials that kind of gave mixed results, but it wasn't until a rather lar until a large clinical trial uh, designed in India called the Randomized Controlled Trial to Assess Blockade of Voltage-Gated Sodium Channels During Surgery and Operable Breast Cancer. This trial was designed in India with 1,600 patients in 11 cancer centers. This trial showed that if you inject lidocaine around an early stage breast cancer tumor prior to removing it surgically, those patients had close to a 5% improved overall survival and disease-free survival rate. 5%. Doesn't sound like much, but that is actually quite a bit, which is an impressive survival rate difference with such a very simple intervention. How about, however, nobody really seemed to know how it worked. It just seemed to work, right? But we have to understand it a little bit more in order to make it more mainstream. So doctors Robert Lee and Ryan Carey, assistant professors at head and neck surgery, and Zoe Miller, a pharmacolo pharmacology graduate student at Penn Med, figured out that lidocaine works on cancer, how lidocaine works on cancer cells. It basically goes through these things called bitter taste receptors. I, who thinks of these things, right? Bitter taste receptors, I'm thinking the tongue, inside the mouth. They actually figure out that this bitter taste receptors in a number of cancer cells and there's 25 different bitter taste receptors and this particular lid lidocaine is a potent activator of the T2R14, which is great from an anti-cancer perspective because it's expressed in almost every cancer cell across everything that's in the Cancer Genome Atlas. What's the Cancer Genome Atlas? The Cancer Genome Atlas is just a massive volume of work that maps the genomes of all known cancers, right? <clears throat> they haven't, and they really didn't find a tissue that doesn't express this specific receptor. So <clears throat> by finding this and finding out that this particular um, receptor is activated or highly activated by lidocaine, all of a sudden this becomes really huge now in cancer treatment. So this is a great example of repurposing existing drugs and folding them into, a can into the cancer fight. So with the upcoming clinical trials at the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania and the ongoing massive international clinical trial known as the Vapor-C trial, which is being run out of the Peter McCallum Cancer Center in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, it's possible that lidocaine, this pretty simple 75-year-old local anesthetic, can be another tool in cancer treatment. Could that be the case? 
Not only could lidocaine be used as a cancer treatment in itself, but it may also act as a valuable tool to establish therapies. Okay, if this trial in India and the Vapor C trial continue with this kind of success, and the upcoming trial at the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania for throat cancer turns out to be a success, I think we have found a massive tool and a huge success to the repurposing of older drugs towards the treatment of cancer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate everything you do. We'll see you later. See ya.